Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial from Love into Blender. I'm Cross Adenuts and today I'm gonna show you how to rig this M4 carb carbine rifle that you can see in here. Alright, so first this model is a um, model which I have done some time ago and I've actually made the tutorial on how to do this. I'm gonna give you some links below if you wanna check that. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, I'm gonna give you the links on my website, so just uh, check my website for all the links used in this video. And if you don't want to model this or you're just interested in rigging, you can download this model, I'm gonna give you the link below. And so, uh, first we need some uh, modifications in here, this is the original model uh, that I've made and this is the one that you're gonna download and first I just want to rotate this by 90 degrees because uh, I don't know why but just uh, it's kind of bothering uh, I don't know why I guess yeah for me it's bothering because uh, yeah so I have the uh, front of the gun on my left uh, side all right so that's just my personal preference okay now as you can see we have uh, something in here which is an empty object and I've uh, parented all of these objects in here to that empty but we're gonna rig this so we need to remove that okay so first I'm gonna remove this but before that I'm gonna unparent all of these objects so make sure everything selected and uh, not this one and alt p uh, clear and keep transformations all right so now, uh, now as you can see unparented and i can delete that and now i need some modifications to the modeling of this as well okay so just some quick adjustments in here as you can see this is a whole object, but I want the trigger to be a different object. So I'm gonna select everything in here. All right, so I'm gonna disable this subsurf modifier for the moment. Okay, unselect these ones. And let's see, also, got three vertices in here oh come on yeah as you can see that's uh, what's happening there so I unselected those three vertices on there and now I'm gonna press Y to make different uh, mesh something like that and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab all of this and oh wait unselect everything which is on there so just shift L yeah then I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit to something like that. Okay, so pretty much, yeah, let's see with this one. And I wanna another thing in here. Yeah, I'm gonna select this and not that one. This one, Shift S cursor to selected. Now L. Also, I have pressed a uh, period, so I rotate along the cursor. And then I'm gonna rotate this so it is uh, that thing is open in there. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate just a bit more, something like that. And we need a bit of modeling on this uh, thing inside, so I'm gonna select these two objects. Uh, shift H to unhide everything else then I'm gonna tab into edit mode and first I want to make two objects out of this so just first hide this for the moment and then well what I'm doing right now is not actually rigging uh, it's more like modeling but I need to do this uh, so I can properly uh, rig my model. So just some quick modeling in here. All right. 
going to fill this face and this one but I know I have two objects in there and then I can unhide uh, circle 7 yeah those names are not so <coughs> uh, uh, not so well assigned well it's gonna work with them for the moment so comma scale along Z to make it a little bit rounder I'm gonna look at this uh, look where the this hole is I'm just gonna take this to the right about yeah to about there then I'm gonna bring this to to the right okay bring this a little bit more yeah perhaps I could bring them to the front just a little bit yeah and then I want to take these two and bring them to the right yeah, to about here I guess and this one just a little bit okay so that should do it uh, this should be the length of the bullet but you can model that at a later time okay so I'm gonna hide this and delete let's just say two faces in here um, two edge loops okay let's just take a look all right this needs to be just a little bit Uh, bigger or wider just scale that uh, shift X something like that let's take a look and I think that should do it yeah I'm gonna raise this just a bit and a bit more Okay, not so much. That should be awesome. Just gonna rotate everything a bit like this, and, and that should do it for the moment being. We're not much into modeling today, so Alt H to unhide everything, and let's see. Okay, so that fits uh, almost perfectly. Hangs out a little bit. Uh, in there but that's okay for the moment all right so yeah pretty much this is with the modeling what we needed to fix in there and then I'm gonna select all of these objects in here and I'm gonna control J so I only have one object in there all right now I don't need a sub search modifier so I'm gonna disable that so it should run a little bit faster my config okay control Z um control z again yeah before we make uh we before we join all of those objects we need to apply this mirror modifier so apply that mirror modifier i forgot that forgot to do that and then we could control j and make one object out of it okay okay so that's it now we're gonna start rigging first we need some vertex groups in here so I'm gonna uh, make them let's just say three four now the first is I'm gonna name I don't know any name that you want I'm gonna name control which is gonna control all of the mesh like all the gun then I'm gonna make the second one trigger the third one actually I don't know how I should name this but I'm just gonna give it a random name and I'm gonna see later what this does so let's just say shoot uh, shooting uh, bullet or I don't know <laughs> yeah something like that I guess and then I'm gonna name this reload 
yeah this name is not good in here so let's just name this inside pretty sure this operation has a name but I don't know what it is so yep yeah. it's gonna go on right now I need to add the bones so add armature single bone okay first I'm gonna snap my cursor to center so that bone is aligned to the center okay now into edit mode uh, perhaps enable x-ray so I can see my bone and the first thing is going to be the control as I was saying just place that wherever you want maybe right here where the handle is yeah and if you want you can also rotate this maybe bring this in here and some like that okay then shift a uh, no just now my cursor and then shift a to add another bone uh, which i think yeah i'm gonna rotate 180 degrees this is gonna be the trigger so maybe something like this okay this should do it snap my cursor again and then another bone uh, which i'm gonna rotate negative 90 degrees just gonna place this one right in here about yeah, and something like that. Then another bone, 90 degrees negative as well. And this should be right here. Okay, great. That's pretty much placing the bones. Now I need to name them. So I'm gonna go into pose mode. And you can name the armature as you wish. I'm gonna name this M4 rig or armature or something like that. And then this bone is going to be the control one. So control. And make sure you name them exactly as these uh, names in here. Uh, well, first, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to do one thing. I need to actually apply these vertex groups because I didn't apply it then so just tap into edit mode so select all the first control and assign so the control is assigned to all the mesh then the trigger is assigned to this object only so assign uh, inside it's going to be this object so that one and the sign and the reload is going to be this one okay that part and a sign and now if i go into weight paint i can check if everything is all right they should be uh, full red okay so uh, red yeah and here the trigger is red uh, this is red that is red so it's all right okay now back to our bones i named this control and this one is going to be trigger so trigger and this one let's just check yeah inside it's gonna be inside and this one is going to be reload okay so yeah i think that's that's that and now i'm gonna parent this so select the gun first and the last one should be the bones and control p set parent to uh, with empty groups okay so now let's just check if everything is all right I'm gonna switch to pause mode this should be the control and everything is almost all right except that 
when I move this control point, uh, control bone, uh, these objects get a little bit offset or something like that because the this bone won't move and uh, the trigger mesh will move so I need to parent the bones to the control one so just into edit mode select this tree and make sure the last one is the control bone and control P keep offset so now if I move the control bone they should all move alright and I'm just checking if everything is alright yep yeah and yes alright so pretty much this is done I mean the rigging is done just one um, thing that I can do to make my uh, to make it just a little bit easier, just want to disable X ray. I could add some uh, uh, where is constraints. Yeah, constraints. That was the name. <laughs> so I could add some constraints because this I don't want it to move uh, like in every direction. So just something like this till it brings the bullet out, and I'm not constraining it to that. So first, I'm gonna start with this trigger gonna make a constraint for these three objects so I'm gonna start with this one because the control one I mean you can move the gun wherever you want okay so select the one in pause mode and limit rotation now I'm gonna use the local space for this one and just see which uh, direction okay so it's local Z the axis that I want. So I'm gonna limit this limit Z local Z and minimum maybe just playing around with this and see what what value I need in there. Because you can take the values from here. Yes. You can take these values because they won't work. I mean they're not the same. Yeah, maybe negative 50. Oh, that's too much. Negative 30. Yeah, and I think that should do it. All right. Now, to this one. Just gonna disable X ray because I can see the that object. And I'm gonna add the location, a limit location. And let's just check. I'm gonna use local space again, and let's just check what axis I need in here. So uh, Y for the global Y, and then Y again for the local Y. So yeah, got it <laughs> from the first shot. Yeah, it's the local Y that I need to constrain. So I yeah, it's a positive value. So checking everything and y positive uh, how much should I put in there let's just see um, so I think something like this so point uh, negative point five one yeah, negative point five one. Oh wait zero in here negative Point five one. So that's minimum, not maximum. Oh, wait, something's not right in here. Uh, yeah, why? Oh, so that's uh, positive if it's along local y. It was negative along global y, so I need the maximum of 5.1. Uh, 0.51, yeah. Okay, and as you can see, it is working. So now if I just press grab I don't have to press Y and 
Yeah, just press G and it's a lot faster. Just moving that and that should do it. Okay, now to this one. Yep, it's this one. Again, a limit a location. And let's just check. I think it's local Y as well. Yep. So it's a negative value along local Y. But I don't know. The value is as much as you want. If you want it to come to about here or about here. I'm not sure how much it should come. Maybe something like this. So it's 0 0.33. Yeah. So it's. Yeah, just use the local space and it's a y negative point three. I'll just leave it three oh, point three three. Yeah, so let's just check this. Yeah, so it should be something like that. When you reload it, you uh, drag this thing out. So maybe it should come a little bit more. I think that's fine. Okay, so pretty much this is with the rigging part. And yeah, we're done. Let's just see. Yeah, 21 minutes. That's not so long. Okay, so just thank you for watching. And you could perhaps make an animation now out of this. And uh, looking forward to see you guys next time okay so thanks for watching and see you next time